Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's French and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you don't know, my name is Jenna. I'm a French girl based out of California and I make videos about curating your life French girl style. If you're not yet subscribed, I would love to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Please join my community. And if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram is at she's French, so just like this channel. So for today's video, I am going to be going over some minimalist closet essentials. I'm actually showing you about 80% of my closet right now. Currently in my closet, I have 21 pieces. That's including shoes, bags. That's a very small closet actually, but I really like it like that. I also wanna note that I do love fashion. So sometimes I do switch pieces around, wanna try something new, experiment a little bit, but that's just what works for me. I don't restrict myself. That's actually why I say that I like to curate as opposed to be a hardcore minimalist. Of course, I definitely am a minimalist. I think it's pretty clear, but I don't love the label as much. So we go with curate here. I'm gonna go over the pieces, hold them up. If I have any pictures, I will add them on the side right here too. So let's get started with the essentials. I don't think that the pieces I have are basic, but they are basics and building outfits. I have a lot of variety for my closet without having a lot. But I do like pieces that have a lot of interest, so of course this is what works for me. So first, let's start with this guy. This is a little bra from Free People. I wear this very, very often. I don't wear it just as a bra, but it definitely can be. I mean, it is a bra. I actually wear this under jackets. Sometimes you just need a little something to then wear your jacket open. Your jacket can be an outfit as itself. Hopefully that makes sense, of course, with pants but this under kind of just makes it that there's something very seamless there but you can then let the jackets do the talking this piece is key and i've actually been looking for something like this for a while it's just something that your eye is not going to land on but definitely helps to build the outfit so this is amazing i wear this very very often of course with 21 pieces i go through my closet very fast i rewear a lot i don't have an issue with rewearing i actually love the pieces i have they definitely should be reworn and that's how you get your cost per wear i think we should scrap the notion of not wearing outfits repeatedly if you really like something and you spend money on it you absolutely should be wearing it more than once so this is amazing for creating multiple outfits. The next piece is a little black dress. This of course doesn't look like anything with me holding it up. I'm going to add some photos. I actually just got this. If you've been following my channel, I've been mentioning that I was looking for the perfect dress. When I shop, it takes me a long time to find what I'm looking for because I don't just want any black dress. I want the black dress. This is the black dress. This dress is beautiful. I knew the moment I saw it that it would be perfect. It can definitely be worn casually, but recently I wore it for my son's first birthday, so a little bit more dressed up. It's an amazing dress. It's very unique. I definitely think that you can rewear this. While it's very statement and you'll recognize the dress, I think that it's just the perfect dress. Personally, I think this is a very hard dress to top. I, Like I said, I fell in love with it. I wanna hold it up and show you a little bit of the details. Also, if you watched my last video, I did put it on so you can see it in action in the video. I really suggest watching through my other videos. You can see a lot of the clothing actually being worn and I talk about a lot of different things with minimalism and fashion. So definitely worth looking through. The top is actually just a loose piece of fabric. I told you guys I love fashion, so these I think are kind of interesting to look at, so I figured we'd talk about them. And of course I chose them and I'm very picky about what I add to my closet, so I figured it's worth talking about. So then the top is just like this, kind of like a scarf. It will actually wrap around the neck like so, and then sit like this. So that is the top of the dress beautiful amazing detail i love anything that's kind of like turtleneck style so i fell in love but i really do think that this is a really versatile dress i think that you should have a dress that you can rewear for different occasions and i have a lot of black you'll see that pretty much my entire closet is black i think as a minimalist black is your best friend black is much harder to stain black doesn't show wear as much 
black goes with everything and i think black also looks very intense deep rich as a color i think it's a really flattering color i don't know that it matters so much what your skin tone is or what kind of coloring it brings out i do think that black works for everybody perhaps you don't want to be fully in black but i think a piece like this one that's black under clothing that maybe is a color that you prefer is going to help make things look very seamless but you can definitely accessorize what colors that you like next up is a fun little top so it's this one you'll have seen me wear this top a lot of course i'm going to add a picture but let's kind of look at it like this so it's kind of bondo style similar shape to this goes up in the neck creates a little turtleneck <laughs> this is definitely my go-to i've had it for years i love it dressed up i love it casually i wear it with jeans it goes with everything definitely a little bit more statement but i think this is a really good top for if you want to wear formally or like a little event something like that something fun but then i really do wear this casually as well so this works really well for me i don't know that this is so essential in a minimalist closet but i do think that once in a while you want to step away from a t-shirt or a very simple piece and have something with a little bit of interest Personally, I love all those pieces. I have this one. I have a few more tops that I'm going to show you what's left in my closet after these that I picked out. They have such interesting design elements that they really do create a full outfit. You can wear the same jeans with everything, but you'll have something that feels totally different every time with shirts that are like this. So this is one of them, definitely my favorite. Love the long sleeves and love the little details, that lettuce hem. And this brings me to the classic t-shirt so you're going to think i'm crazy but if you've been watching i've talked about this finding the perfect t-shirt is no joke obviously my closet is very thought about i spend a lot of time before shopping to make sure that it's a piece that first i'm excited about but that also is going to work with a lot of different outfits Finding the perfect t-shirt, even though it's a t-shirt, was also similar. I've actually had this t-shirt before. It got a little bit worn out and I repurchased it. This is from Aritzia. I actually bought this in two sizes under from my regular size. So this is a double XS. I would typically go for a small or medium but i wanted it to be very very cropped i do wear this under jackets and if it's under a jacket i don't want to feel like i have a bunch of like trapped material in the sleeves anything like that so i wanted it to feel a little bit tighter to the body without being like a slim fit and then just fall pretty short because i do wear a lot of high-waisted pants so i wanted to kind of not make it such a baggy piece but more of a piece that's almost a layering piece that i can wear with different jackets things like that so this is perfect i wear this in the summer i wear it alone i wear it with jackets i can wear it with my puffy jacket it's a really good base so this one what i like especially about it is the fit the crop but also the sleeves i'm not a big fan of the i want to say women's cut those sleeves that kind of go like this i don't find those very flattering I feel like a sleeve cut like this is perfect and on my hunt for the perfect t-shirt i was finding very wide shirts very short sleeves sleeves that were really long everything exists you just gotta find what <laughs> works best for your body this is the one that i felt worked really well for me on my body and with my closet next up is something a little bit more casual comfy this is my she's french sweater um, if you didn't see the last video, I introduced this last week. I decided to make this. I've been looking for the perfect sweatshirt, never found it, so I made my own. So this one just says, she's French, Paris. We did um, a way to print that makes it look a little bit vintage. So you can see there's like a little bit of wear, but of course it's a new sweatshirt. So this is perfect for when you're running errands, going to the store kind of being cozy at home maybe even work from home anything like that i mean it's a crew neck sweater i'm sure we've all had crew neck sweaters we've all styled them in different ways so just something easy because while this is amazing i'm not wearing this every day of course there are some days where i do need the t-shirt or i do want something that's just cozy a little bit more casual so this is amazing if you're interested in grabbing one, I'm going to add the link in the bio below, so make sure to take a look. Also, tell me what you think. Of course, I'm very proud of this because I made it. It took me a really long time to find the perfect font, 
the perfect sweatshirt this one is made from 100 percent recycled materials that was really important to me and yeah i love it so next is jackets i think jackets are a really good place to start with a minimalist closet of course you want to find jackets that are suited to the climate where you're at i am in california so the climate is very moderate we don't get very very cold winters our summers they do get hot now but not crazy hot i can get away with wearing jeans all summer and not be overheating so this is the first jacket i'm going to show you this is a Prada jacket, little denim jacket. This is the first piece that I've shown you that's not black, I think so. This jacket is beautiful. What I love about this jacket is the cut. I've actually shown this in last week's video where I put it on and I talked about this as well. It has the perfect cropped cut. I have a very small torso, so anything that's cropped actually ends up looking almost full length on me. So this fell really nicely on my body, which is actually a cut that I had a really hard time finding. And also the sleeves are ridiculously long. I have very, very long arms. Typically when I buy jackets that are my size, the sleeves end up like here. So I have to size up, but then that's not the actual size that fits my body. So this was an exciting moment. Of course, this is a more premium piece, but you can do any jacket that you like. It doesn't have to be a denim jacket, but I really think that having some good jackets in a minimalist closet is a good place to start because this one I wear as a jacket. I also wear clothes as a shirt. It goes with everything. It's a denim jacket. I can put it over anything that I've just shown you. It's gonna work. And I think that's really important. I have two more jackets in my closet that are a little bit more statement. One, I do wear buttoned up as a shirt more than as a jacket, but I can also wear it open. The other one has a gold clasp right here. Definitely a more statement jacket, but still a great jacket that I love. I think those jackets fall a little bit more into the category of that little turtleneck crop top that I just showed you. That's kind of something with some interest just to kind of spice up my closet. But in terms of jacket that I wear the most and I think is essential, it would definitely be this one this one gets so much wear i definitely get my cost per wear out of this and i think it's really classic a denim jacket's not going anywhere while this cut is a little bit different there's nothing about this cut that i feel is going to age poorly i think that i can put this on in 10 years and still feel confident on style so amazing jacket i definitely recommend looking for a jacket that you really really love next up is another jacket i don't want to just go into this kind of like this closet that looks good your closet has to work for you as well so of course in the winter it gets cold while the denim jacket is beautiful and i can't get away with it in california with some layers i need something that's still good for the cold so here is my winter jacket this is a little puffy jacket from aritzia it does have a hood that you can remove this is their super puff jacket i believe they only come out in the winter but they do come out every year they always do different variations of this this is the shorty so it's the cropped one but look it's not that cropped you can also cinch it a little bit more here but on me it actually does fall like a full length jacket there's a lot of things that i would love to wear but unfortunately don't work on me so i think you just have to learn what works for you and it takes a little bit of time some trial and error we all make mistakes when we shop there's so many times that i've bought something and i was like this is perfect i love it and then i put it on and actually it didn't work for me even though i loved it on the hanger I think that's just a part of it. There's so much out there, but you can absolutely find something that works for you. So anyway, back to the jacket. This one is the shorty. They make a regular length. They make a long one as well. I think they started doing a vest. They also make a cropped vest. There's a lot of variety and so many different colors. Of course, this is me, so I did black. Can't go wrong with black. Next up are pants. So. These are my blue jeans. I also have a pair of black jeans, but these are the jeans. Like I said, I like a bit of variety. The black ones are great, but this blue denim is like really what I love. So I love these. These are by the brand Redone. This is a bit of a more premium brand, but I really think that with denim, you can tell the difference. After having my son, I gained a lot of weight. So I was on kind of like my little transition to get back to my close to my old body not quite but 
<laughs> closer and I bought some jeans from Abercrombie. I knew I wanted to rebuy these. I had the black ones before, they did not fit anymore. I actually sold them. I knew I wanted to go back to redone because I love the quality and the feel of the jeans so much. Really, you can feel in the fabric, but I wasn't ready to spend because I didn't know my size. So I bought a pair of Abercrombie jeans. At the time, I didn't pay what they cost now. I looked on the website recently and they're about $80 plus. I think that's actually really expensive. Something that I recommend doing if you are trying to add some really quality pieces is to kind of look out for sales. I got these for $135. Comparing this quality to the Abercrombie ones at $80, I think it's definitely worth spending a little bit more to get these on sale but i don't think that it was a fluke i think that if you look it's you can find it quality is so different i wear these a lot they fit my body well i have long legs so it's hard for me to find a cut that works typically jeans are too short same issue as the jacket landing here my jeans also did high waters on me so these are perfect fit they also have rips on the knees which is a little detail that i really like the rips on the knees actually fall on my knees. I had given up on finding jeans that actually had the knee rip fall on my knee because typically everything fell at a different place just because of the length. If you don't anticipate your size changing, there is no reason why you wouldn't be able to wear these jeans forever as long as you took care of them. So definitely amazing. I do recommend investing in good denim. I do like to be thrifty with my closet, so I do look for sales and I do buy a lot secondhand. I know that this video is getting really long, but only three more things that I wanna show you. I have a little pair of heels. These are my white heels, they're from Prada. Any heel like this I think is very classic or a heel that you personally think is something that is classic with your closet. These, I know they go with everything. I know that they're comfortable. They're not very high. They're about a kitten height. They just work. I've worn these so many times. I love heels. I love to look at heels. I think heels are so fun. But if you're trying to have a minimalist closet, I really think that you can get away with one pair. I know that I can wear this pair for any occasion. I can pair them with anything and they're gonna work. So while I do love heels and it would be a fun experiment to try some more fun styles, this really is the pair of heels that is just perfect in my minimalist closet because they just work. And while we're on the shoe topic, I only have three pairs of shoes or four now. I have a pair of Crocs for the beach. I wouldn't consider the Crocs like a fashion statement, but love them for the beach. So here are my everyday casual shoe. These are the Balenciaga track shoes. I did get these secondhand. This is what I mean. You can find really good pieces secondhand for a good price. I got these about half price from retail, which is amazing. And with secondhand, you're not getting somebody's old stuff you might be getting something that's just open box. This is what these were. I bought these from a store called Fashion File. They're online. They also have a local store to me. They're about 15 minutes away, which is really cool. So I got to pick them up in person. Amazing, amazing shoes. Obviously the quality is great. They're sturdy shoes and they really do work with everything for me. When I shop, I take a long time to buy pieces. So I had my eye on these for three years thinking about them thinking about them thinking about them finally got them and i'm so happy so i try to make a really good educated decision before shopping especially if it's expensive but with me i really do get my cost per wear because the closet is so small any chunky white shoe i think is really good or any sneaker i had tried new balances in the past a couple people asked me about that i loved the idea of the new balances but when i got them I actually felt like they were too much for my closet. I got the gray pair that I thought was beautiful, but I felt like they were pretty hard to pair with what I had in my closet. I felt like they were pretty statement and next thing I knew I just wasn't reaching for them because I wasn't sure how to make them work. So sold those and went back to trusty white shoes, which I know has always worked for me before. Don't beat yourself up if that happens. It happens to me all the time. Now there's a lot of avenues that you can take if you want to resell those pieces. You can list them online. There's so many websites where you can get your money back. I love to shop from those websites, but I also do list any pieces that I decide to part with. You can make some money back and it's a really good way to keep pieces going because they're not just 
track. While you're not reaching for those pieces, someone else may. So it kind of keeps the life of the item going and I think it helps to make fashion less wasteful. And last but not least is a bag. This is actually a new bag for me. I'm planning on doing a video about this bag to kind of talk about my thought process for getting this. This was not a purchase that I took lightly. I actually sold all my bags. Any bag that you've seen on my channel, they're all gone. I sold them all to make this one happen. I was in a place where I have a baby. I was carrying mini bags and while I love them and they did work, I just didn't feel like they were a good match for my lifestyle anymore. So I decided to sell them. I had some amazing bags. I've made videos about these. So definitely take a look on my channel. So I definitely have a video coming about this bag. I have so much to say about this bag, but here it is. This is a little small backpack. This is the perfect bag for me. It's just so versatile. I think you can dress it up, dress it down. Fits everything you need, but it's not overbearing. It's not too much. It's easy to carry. It can actually be worn in different ways. I really recommend trying to hunt down a bag that's perfect for you because I think that you can have a closet with just one bag. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I love bags. I considered the Prada nylon bag. I felt like that wasn't going to be timeless and sure enough, I think they're actually on their way out right now. Still a great bag, but if you're investing in a bag, you want it to be the bag. So this was it. Keep an eye out for that video. But yeah, that was everything. That was actually a lot of pieces pretty much my entire closet i'm going to show you what is left for my closet so let's cut to that clip so i did want to show you what my closet looks like after pulling out those pieces so definitely very minimal there's six pieces of clothing left and then I do have a um, kind of one piece bodysuit that I wear for working out. That's in the wash right now. So I guess you can count it as seven. And then down here, I just have a pair of black Ugg boots, some Crocs for the beach. And that bag just has like miscellaneous things like little shoe insoles dust bags, things like that. I do plan to do a closet tour because obviously I've decluttered. I mentioned since last time that actually editing my last declutter and closet update video, it actually made me want to go back in and make some changes. I was sitting editing that for a very long time and then re-watching it, so it actually inspired me to go back in. So this is current as of right now. I forgot to mention what I'm wearing right now, so two more pieces and then socks. <laughs> um, yeah, that is my closet right now and i'm back thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it i had a lot of fun filming this i've been trying to get organized about my content and kind of go over more things about how my closet works how i shop why i shop the way i do why i pick out the pieces that i choose so I hope that this was fun. I would love for you to subscribe if you're not already. Please, please, please join my community. We would love to have you here. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Whoa.